it's a very big day today because for some weeks now Andreas has been quietly working on tidying the forest and making a sculpture for it and today is the big unveiling of it. If you go down to the woods today. It's a family outing down to the woods to see Andreas's sculpture which is being unveiled for the first time. As is Andreas, you're unveiling yourself for the first time as well. <laughs> that is my true look, yeah. Okay, let's go with your true look. Show us the sculpture. This is a big moment, Andreas. You've been working in solitude. No one's seen what you've been up to. All we know is that it's cost a lot of bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have a little speech, Andres, and maybe something, some words about your inspiration? No. Okay, <laughs> thanks for that. Three, two, one. Oh, it's bigger than you, mummy. It's lovely, and my goodness, you've done a good job of the joints. It's really beautiful. I might put something in the middle. Are these old drawing boards? Yes. In the center. How about a small sculpture of yourself? <laughs> How about not? <laughs> it could be changeable. It could be. It could yes. be vary according to. Yes, the, to I the like that. Like Trafalgar Square. <laughs> according to the sacred sacrament. Oh yes, sacrament. my tea. That is the sacred sacrament. <laughs> <gasps> Andreas, you made me a massive tea holder. <laughs> I did my best, Miss Jarvis. <laughs> Thank you. There's nothing I could have wanted more. <laughs> I do like the fact that that can change. Sometimes we can put a bottle of whiskey there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes just a banana. I'm still thinking sacred shrine and all these filthy things are coming into my mind. Really, Sophie, tell us more. <laughs> now there's a whole new staircase that's mushroomed. Can you tell us something about the staircase? Would you like to try the staircase? I would love to try the staircase. I'm glad that you, you suggested really that. I was hoping you would. It's a bit <laughs> steep sometimes. You should try it at some point. Eventually, when you return to the chateau. Shall we all go back up that way? That was a dare. I'm going to try the staircase. This is a small step for women, but a giant leap for Lalande. It's incredible, Andreas. I think I'm going upwards. That's it's marvellous! Can someone bring my mug of tea? <laughs> yeah! I named this walk the Andreas Walk. The Andreas Walk? Yes. And you can't fault it. <laughs> <laughs> Easter egg hunts have just got a lot better. <laughs> Where are the treetops? Maddie, what have we said about the Christmas music before December? It's nearly December. Maddie, it's the what? 13th of November. Be on Christmas. It's not Christmas. I never grumpy on Christmas. It's nearly Christmas, Stephanie. Get on with it. Okay, what do you two think? Is it nearly Christmas? Should we be listening to I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas? She's a bit early, but one song. <gasps> She's turning it up! Christmas of She's dancing with Ollie the Ghost. Good to see you here. Wonderful to be back. I'm loving exploring every room in the chateau. <laughs> Mary and Maddie, you've made a very pretty table. Thank you. Because we have guests tonight. Yes. Alison and Paul from the Chateau de Bramatour. Apparently. Okay. Very exciting. What have you made? She, she I have. Oh, nice back. Oh, thank you. Very fetching. Oh, with the apron? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it sets it off nicely. <laughs> so, with the starter, we have a toast, an olive oil, just nice bread, and we have a mango salsa. And then we have chicken uh, breasts with a satay sauce and couscous. And what is the salad? It's uh, just carrots and green salad. Uh, there's uh, pumpkin seeds and cucumber. What is this? this you is must be uh, one of our nearest neighbours from the Escape nice to the Chateau sauce. DIY series, being Thank a mere you. four and a half hours away. Yes. Can you tell us what you're working on? Stefania has devised a questionnaire designed to tease out of the chateau owners 
why they're in France and why they're doing their chateau and try and build up a little bit more of a picture of their chateau and why they came to France. And why we have this mutual insanity. And why it's so therapeutic for us all to meet. Yes, it's very therapeutic to meet. What's the best thing about buying a chateau? What's the best thing about buying a chateau is that you wake up in this bedroom that's enormous and you have to walk across this massive area to open these beautiful wooden shutters and look out of leaded pane and then walk to another enormous area to the bathroom and you just feel like you're living like a princess or something in a place like things that you read about when you were young so just this incredible space is beyond belief and just like walking through your chateau where it's just miles of corridor and and then i would go and contract in a tiny little apartment which was no bigger than an eighth of the kitchen or something yeah, and it's yeah. just that amazing contrast that you just think wow that's a real luxury of space there. that we have and what would you say the worst thing about living in a chateau is I don't think there's any worse thing, is there? Well, the worst thing can be you smell of wood fires in the winter because you have to <laughs> use wood fires for heating. And um, I think that's about it, really. That's not bad then, is it, really? The upside no. is you're a princess and the downside is you occasionally smell of wood fires. Well, I, well, I'd say other... go for it. Anyone watching this, go <laughs> for it. She was actually saying earlier that he felt sometimes lonely in the early years when he was Yes, ruined. if you're by yourself, they can be very And freezing alone. with one tap and one plug yeah. socket and you can't speak French and everyone no, is saying, no. Oh, that looks good. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Merry Christmas in advance. Yes. Merry Christmas in advance. Mm. Marie and I are having Christmas afternoon in the kitchen. We're going to have mince pies, drink Prosecco and make the Christmas cake. Yes. Right, Christmas cake. I'm using Delia Smith's Christmas cake recipe, which I use every single year. Going old school. Maybe we should have some Christmas music. This yeah. is the one day before December where our Christmas music, Marie. Mm.